So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a meta human using a custom 3D scan. We are going to scan our face and then we are going to import that into meta human. This video is really going to be very exciting. Before we start a quick word from the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Health Hero. The folks at Health Hero are hosting their very first game jam. The theme of this game jam is health. The Health Hero game jam runs for a week. If you are a game developer, join the jam and get a chance to win exciting prizes up to $1,000. The theme of this game jam is really unique and you can create very unique games with this. So if you happen to be a game developer, I will highly recommend that you join the jam. So you can head over to their itch.io page where they are hosting the jam and you can register for the game jam from there. So I'll leave those links down in the description. Okay, now first you need to obtain a 3D scan of your own face. If you just want to test this out, you can download one from Sketchfab and follow this video. But if you want to like use your own face and create yourself inside MetaHuman Creator. So I'm going to use an application called Polycam. So Polycam is like a free application that converts photos into a 3D model. So you just have to tap on the record button and Polycam will automatically click photos and it's going to convert those photos into a 3D model. I have no experience in photogrammetry, so it's pretty impressive what you can do with your phone. So after you have the 3D model, you have to export this as a GLB file. Okay, now we are going to open up Blender and we are going to import that model into Blender. So file import and select the GLTF. So this is a .glb file. It's also known as the GLTF format. So there we go. We have a 3D model with all the materials and everything inside Blender. So now let's export this as a FBX file. So select your 3D model, export, and we are going to export this as an FBX file. Now we are going to change some of these settings here. So I'm only going to export the selected objects. I want to export the mesh. We are going to change the X axis to the forward axis and the Z axis to the up axis. Down, we are going to change the smoothing to face. Turn off add leaf bones and turn off bake animation. We don't need those animation options. After that, you can export this file. After exporting this, I'm back in Unreal Engine 5. In the content browser, you can right click and you can import this model. So just import that. Leave it at the default import options and just import this. Our mesh has been imported. So you can open the mesh and you can take a look. So everything looks pretty good. So this mesh is basically just going to be used for establishing the basic face profile and the face um, ratio. So it's completely fine if you have glitches in the mesh, like if you have some texture glitches, it's completely fine. Now let's convert this mesh into a meta human. So for that, we need to enable a plugin. So go to plugins, search for meta human. And this is the meta human plugin. So the official meta human Unreal Engine toolkit, just enable this. You might also need to restart the engine. So after restarting the engine, you can right click in the content browser and you will see a new option for meta human. So there are two options here. We are going to create a meta human identity. Make sure that you name this properly because the name of this asset is going to correspond to the name of the asset in the meta human creator. After you have created that, you can double click to open that and that will open up the mesh to meta human workspace. So Unreal Engine and Epic Games have like really streamlined the workflow and this is very powerful and very easy. So let me show you how this works. So first for this to work, we obviously need to like add our mesh here. So we are going to go to components from mesh. You can search for the face mesh and just click on that. That's going to generate some components. After that, it's very important to change the field of view of the camera. So for this, we need a long lens. So you can change the field of view to about 20. After that, in the components menu, you have to select the neutral pose and you can promote this to a frame and that's going to be used for tracking later. So basically you just took a snapshot of the viewport right here. So just track the active frame. 
So Unreal Engine has tracked all the face features. So it has tracked the eyes, the lips and a lot of different facial features. So as I said, we don't need a high quality mesh to make a meta human. So we just needed this to determine the shape of your face. So this track looks pretty good. Now let's solve the meta human identity. So just click that button and the meta human identity solver is going to convert this into a meta human mesh. So if you want to preview that mesh, you can toggle the B view and this is the meta human mesh that it has generated. So as you can see, this is pretty accurate. After that, you can select the body and you can select any preset that you like. I'm going to select that one. So now everything looks pretty good. We have a body preset and the face also looks pretty good. So now let's convert this mesh into a meta human. So click the final mesh to meta human button. So this is going to convert this into a meta human character and it's going to upload it in the meta human server. So your meta human is available in the meta human creator. So now let's launch meta human creator. Meta human creator is an application that works in the browser itself. So you don't need to download anything. We can see our asset that we created a few moments ago. So just select that asset and we are going to edit this. So this doesn't have any materials and everything. So we are going to apply all of that. But first, let's take a look at the face options. So under the face, under the custom mesh, so you can select different regions of your face and then you can like change the influence. So this is going to blend between the meta human basic shape and the 3D scan. So if some parts of your face are messed up due to the 3D scan, you can reduce the region of influence. So for example, the ears are messed up. So I'm going to select the ears and I'm going to decrease the influence and that will fix that. Now you can give it a skin color under the head. You can change the hair options. So you have a lot of different hair presets here. You have some options for facial hair. You have some options for clothing as well. So now it's just a matter of like trying different options and different settings and try to like match this as best as possible to your face. So after playing around with all of these presets and all of the settings, you can see that I have arrived at a very accurate representation of the 3D model that we had. And the best part is this is now a meta human asset. So this is a meta human character, which means this has a meta human rig. So it also has a meta human facial rig. So you can do facial animations if you want. And this is like one click export to Unreal Engine 5. So this workflow is really powerful. So you can create photorealistic characters within minutes using 3D scans. So I hope you learned a lot in this video. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.